Hi, hi, it's me in voice. Nice, nice to see you. I'm a VTuber. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, okay, so please like and subscribe this video. Uh, remember to take care. And um, today we're going to react to Ninja Link Pack, it's a playable anime by Maxo. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. I haven't seen any shit of this. I don't know who the fuck is this guy, but okay. This video is a, a cry for help. Genshin Impact is a playable anime, and that's pretty good since my videos are attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Avon. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising that I'm doing. A beautiful post apocalyptic nightmare world featuring a giant tree. What? Uh, Sorry, that's the wrong game. <laughs> On our journey throughout the seven nations, we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children. Entrusted and empowered by the gods to wield elemental energy as dangerously mm. as possible. I'm just okay. a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble your team of heroic... Katsumi, baby, goof! I'm hey. just a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble Assemble your team of heroic psychopaths and begin blasting, boating, cooking your enemies alive, visiting baby's first casino, and without ah. time, it will become baby's last casino. Oh. Most importantly, have fun, because the game will try to stop you. I can assure <laughs> you that the visual novels are exactly what Da Wei intended. So join oh. me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. One Oof. organizing country yeah. at a time. This is it, guys. This is what $900 million can buy you. Are you having fun <laughs> yet? Look, all I'm trying to say is, uh, this is a weird episode. Sort of Ava. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's quite cinematic. been here in uh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Welcome back to Mondstadt. And yes, the game still displays your IP address, just in case you're a little bit too critical. This place is where the player learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, learns that they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So I think it's a great <laughs> opportunity to teach the basics, and uh, nothing else. The environment here looks like it shares a polygon. I think a good place to start is with our team, the Fuelgenisaria. Official. I mean... Every crew got the schizophrenic, personality disorder, <laughs> mentally and physically deranged. No! I'm, uh, yes! About that. There's a quest where you enter her mind and she fights her tulpa. End user what? agreement. Literally the only physical DPS. Possibly racist. Has the biggest slappy in Tebot. Sangkok. <laughs> <laughs> and Rose. Cock. <laughs> less promiscuous, so we need to cover her up in appropriate garments. God, I wish nuns were real. With our team assembled, we're. God, I wish nuns were real. <laughs> Rosaria, oh my god! I'm able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact is a based character RPG where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs oh. fire, ice freezes water, plants buff electricity, a fucking gas leak. Denja requires <laughs> Academy. My game is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is genuinely no cooldown to freeze. By the way, what I'm showing you now is considered tame. The game is actually supposed to look some mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. Of course, yeah. the characters are bad. And others are very bad, but many are absolutely game-changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least through a uh, regular means. This one is <laughs> Poco Stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. My cox crit rate is negative 87. The game also allows to choose from a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies. Each what the fuck? And substats. Sometimes too many substats. Like yeah. I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. We've got both. Let me see. They say, let me say something. Genshin has a problem with too many sub subs and many fucking things going on for just one chapter that you have to build full chapters and you have to actually farm a lot for every single chapter and just if you farm that thing it's not going to work because oh yeah you're going to roll this up stuff and it's going to be a defense and you're going to f fuck your shit up Bows, spears, paddles, b big fish, <laughs> umbrella, child's bomb instructions. I hope you know there's a lot of variation. <laughs> theory crafting, a lot of Chinese theory crafting. They take oh. the game very seriously, like right outside of a KFC seriously. And if you're wondering about the gambling, well, hell, we'll get to it later. I have a lot to say about it. But for now, welcome to the land of the Anemo God, who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls. No! Oh! <laughs> 
is uh, really jamming out. No chat, I'm not going to do that Yoinky Splinky. Oh my god, he just doesn't give a fuck. So what if I just, uh... Oh no. no yes, more than him. Well, I guess if you can't beat him, <laughs> Mondstadt is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and half the country is controlled by wolves. Wolves that you uh, never actually see. On the oh. Laser. I mean, there's the giant wolf, but he's kind of special. Uh, yeah, he's the ghost. What the dog doing? As of this, <laughs> nobody in Mondstadt has any money. Oh. The church, of course. The city is undergoing a crippling wine epidemic. Look, I oh. think funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most of your time is going to be spent cleaning up their mess. Their singular mess. Because there is only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are hillagers. Oh my god. Capable of empathy and complex thoughts. Which is why they must be destroyed. Literally take a random location in Mondstadt. You are 10 seconds away from a hill churl. Well, why is that one unbirthing itself? Really cool. Oh my god. The organization of Mondstadt is dedicated to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit of a yay dada man myself. Really feeling that yay dada. Yay today. Don't say Nini Zito. It's basically a slur. They uh, didn't like that. Look, what I'm trying to say is this place has problems. But ultimately, they are cool problems. Mondstadt may not be that varied, well designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one sentence. Oh. Oh. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Oh! <laughs> this is the beginning of a long, long journey. This game is planned out uh, seven years in advance. So as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Monster. But uh, pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm going to Hi, Benji. What is happening? What the fuck am I seeing? What? <laughs> Stop playing for a sec? No. No! <laughs> Don't stop! I to go to my <laughs> Never stop! Leave it! For the next stop on our war crimes tour of the Balkans, we're heading to the funny nation. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So, uh, we're going to this location on the map. If only there was a better way to view the world. Make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to, uh... Shit. We're going to, uh... One second. We're going to ascend to space. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, why does that work like that? Oh my god, the planet's receding. I am alone in this hell on Earth. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. You know it's real bad when the moon is physically below you. Hang on guys, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna uh, change the time real quick. <laughs> yeah, the game lets you do that. <laughs> well, folks, it was nice knowing you all. Never mind. Oh. Oh, I love this. Max are here. And welcome to China. It's just China. Yeah. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our previous adventures, we explored to learn the basic mechanics. And also, oh my god! relations. So for Li Wei, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need to explain my team. I call it the hot shower by force. Oh! Xing Zhu. Xing Zhu. Xing Yes, this is a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. In yeah. Of information, however you want. Hu Tao is the owner of a funeral parlor, and she could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims award, like the threat. Oh my god! Event. He's still writing them. Most reasonable Hu Tao made. Yalan is a character that I play for the personality. She oh yeah. Is one of the most overpowered units in the game because she's a second Xing Show. I don't even care that she's a federal psyop. I can fix her. And Tony no. Who is the fucking spell wrong. Just a just, it's just Toma. A Toma. With our team assembled, we are now able to try combat because this team is ridiculous. But fortunately, Genshin is not just a game about combat. It's a game about gambling. No. See, the Genshin Impact is what we call a gotcha game because it has got me in its grasp, which means that the primary game mechanic is chance. Every character is chance. Every weapon is chance. Every yeah. Every piece of every build is fucking chance. Yeah. You know what it's like to have a mathematically impossible goblet? Goddamn elating. Hey, so I see you're trying to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense but yeah we can predict the outcomes of our goals uh. using some eastern philosophies and the answer is um 105 on average but don't worry you've got a lot of time uh i i guess we're gonna wait a day because only a few five stars are actually available and sometimes they aren't available for 483 uh. days she is in prison for racism but what are they <laughs> going to do lock me up yeah <laughs> So Yo! Yeah. <laughs> no! And there's a 
there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic adventures, yeah, or I find did. amazing treasures. If what? you want to stay poor, no. You see, the real money is made in the daily quests. Yeah. A series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering oh. people, talking to the hillagers, very nicely, finding the weasel. W where do you go? And well, here. Jumping on mushrooms. Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? We also have the power to send various characters on 20-hour expeditions directly to the coal mines. Look, oh. I really need these 2,000 upgrade materials. It's just uh, best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, traveler. Uh -huh. I'm Astra Abyssal. Okay. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like to uh, send a child to the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself, Catherine. But, but traveler. <laughs> Do not question <laughs> me, Catherine, or I'll have you stabbed in a future quest. Oh. Yeah. Leeway is an authoritarian militaristic oligarchy controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe. Oh yes. Yeah. supremacy. This nation is the land of contracts, and by entering, mm. you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, oh, Leeway yeah. is also where all money is printed on the planet. So, uh, I guess Monsanto's economy is powered by hopes and dreams, and also uh, the card game. <laughs> Dad's dead and all, but. Do you want to play Gwent? And no! The effect of this is that Leeway is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in Leeway are human. And even worse, they're poor. So oh. the fact that they're forced to fight with <laughs> Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is what is your plan, my guy? The masculine urge to dig a hole. <laughs> the good guys. Speaking of digging holes, I should probably address this. It's a little difficult to ignore. You see, there are many beautiful places to see in Leeway, such as Night City, the yeah. fucking rice fields, the most annoying place to <laughs> Look at the rice fields. Like, please stop giving me commissions here. And then we have the chasm. No! The secret underground I hate that. All of the game's elder tours. And yes, this is just the entrance to the chasm. Yeah. Yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you die down here, no one will hear your screams. Yes. If you think you're done exploring, it just it just keeps going down. The devs had to add moon shoes to the game so I could keep playing it. Now that we're trapped down here, we only have two options remaining. We need to mine and we need to craft. Oh. The second part will come later. <laughs> so now it's later. Unfortunately, I cannot craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is, Leeway is a very diverse place. It's certainly more yeah. diverse than Hillichurl Field Number Six. But most importantly, Leeway is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be had? Am oh, I like it. No. Forget the nightmare pit. And look, Leeway might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks. It happens twice, and the landscape. Oh. Is to kill me. But hey, at least the story's up. It's okay. Can anyone? Can anyone here tell me why? 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 Like, there's a, why there's like a giant bird next to me. It's weird. <laughs> oh fuck! Where am I? <laughs> oh, fuck, where am I? Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath the ocean. So apparently I just have to um Uh-huh. Yeah. We can do that. That actually worked. Okay. Yes. I think I've uh made a mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. And just to watch out for the void. Uh what do I do about this? So I think I've been walking for uh 20 minutes. I don't like this anymore. Okay, <laughs> now, so um I don't think we're close enough. Please no, please no, please no. No. Nah. Oh, we're drowning there. Nah. What is Inazuma. up, Thabies and gentle thems? Welcome to the land of Inazuma, a home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, oh. Sad taught us how to play, and Lee Wade taught us how to sim. Well, the land of lightning is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, which I will be calling the, uh, <laughs> Yandere Benzos. Yandere, <laughs> mommy, sorry, Sigma female kidnapped <laughs> him and force feminized him. God, I oh yeah! Me. Traveler, I'm making a call out post to my Twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can literally name him Bruce. That is actually how it appears in game. In yeah. fact, we can name him all kinds of things, such as Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma, Wobushidashabwa, Ballfart, Testicles, what is that? And last but not least, Hokushish, oh, Hatsune Miku. This is literally Miku. just Miku. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. And Bennett, who is the single most overpowered unit in the game. Like, Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. Since the best of the lines and have his testicles exploded. <laughs> previous teams, they were kind of nice. But this time, I am not playing nice. I am playing for funny numbers. Every single member is optimized beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It, uh, cost $50. Also, no! fly. Like, actual flight. It breaks, like, half the game's AI when you do it. They're just very confused. My entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an attack helicopter. Just, uh, don't ask me how long I farmed for this. I had to grind for this view. Oh my god. Second, she's wearing socks in the water. Yeah. That's horribly wrong with this <laughs> Inazuma is a third world isolationist dictatorship, mostly occupied by catastrophic disasters, both natural yes. and man-made. But mostly man-made. Me and the fellas watching Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma also resulted in a decades-long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. Naturally, this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like oh my god. Stand in the rain all day. How do the Hillichurls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Inazuma. You know, besides uh, the fucking puzzles. This oh, yeah. Is Satan. Arugami Island is the only place in Inazuma resembling a civilization. The rest is basically just Martin Luther King Boulevard. The only disaster <laughs> this island has to worry about is the government, and her name is the Raiden Shogun. Kanazuka is the first island to be made uninhabitable by nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like Clown College. I mean, oh my god. also the Kujo encampment, but uh, we don't go to the Kujo encampment. Well, no. that's of that. Wait a minute. What no! <laughs> no way! Shiori is an absolute nightmare on account of the non-stop lightning storm and a uh, slightly imposing giant skull. My favorite activity is uh, going to the yeah. It limits the land the lightning can strike, so it just fucking whacks you. Looks like another beautiful day in the great land of Inazuma. Oh, oh. I yeah, I hate it! Too. But when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. I'm gonna take that as a sign from God. Seirai Island is what happens when Mr. Beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to families in need. Like, this shit makes Evangelion look like a comedy special. <laughs> Even homeless people here probably tells you all you need to know. Surumi Island is a very isolated place, populated for thousands of oh. years by bird worshipping savages who need their mineral resources exploited. President Biden, please send Raytheon missiles so I can buy just Sony water and Cheetos. I just oh my god! The, uh, interdimensional dog. What, what the fuck? Island is really nice. Like, what the fuck? What is the boss? Count as an island. It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. There he is. Oh. Ekonomia is fucking Atlantis. You get there by jumping into the giant hole, and it's like, how is this legal? Are the developers okay? This place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. Oh! It to toggle the powers of the artificial sun. And, uh, the holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and, uh, children, Genshin Impact at its core is an exploration game, because it makes you explore your sexuality. And that yes! alone makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy, I've been a bad boy. <laughs> it might be lacking in housing, basic infrastructure, and some unbombed land. But honestly, yeah. it's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just, uh, be glad you don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry. Oh! Yeah. I love Inazuma, but I hate this story. And then it's called being good with Inazuma. <laughs> Okay, next is Sumeru. Sumeru. Alright, fellas, for our next stop, we're going to enter the weed land. We need to smoke that Zaza and fall unconscious. And to do yes. that, all we have to do is not be stuck in Inazuma. So if you were a fan of our undersea adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we've got to do is, uh, whatever that was. I can't let go of the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some holy spirit. Uh, okay, so we're just, we're just going down to, we're, we're going to, we're going to Silent Hill now. Sorry, it's <laughs> like we're, uh, approaching Meltdown. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Maxo. Uh, one second, guys, my mom's calling me. Uh, hey, Bob, one second, I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? 
It means I'm low-key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah! Perfect landing. <laughs> Best chapters. I mean, what? <laughs> hey there, my little genshits. Welcome to the land of Sumeria, uh, Sumeru. Hittite jump scare. The <laughs> nation invention impact that could use the internet, mostly for racism. Good to see that nothing's changed. It is also um, absurdly gigantic. Like, the map screen can't even see all of it. But before we can get into the intricacies oh. of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. The <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> I can explain. My girl is 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the literal <laughs> god of knowledge. If you count knowledge as the personal thoughts of every NPC in Sumeru, which oh. you can read, even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> typing it. How many emotes do these people have? Oh, um. Does watching you count as a hobby? What? I've actually Ugh. been watching you for a long time already. Excuse me, no! who has a completely hollow skull? There is nothing happening inside her head. She could not pass an eye exam. Saginomiya <laughs> Koko. Wait a minute, I've seen you before, but found it's cook. something to admit. You see, the Kokomi's damage scales on health, her healing scales on health, and yes, even her health scales on health. So naturally, <coughs> when it came time to build her, I, um, used the wrong stuff. <coughs> it makes the numbers funnier. Yao Yao is very cute and muddy. Her playstyle is chill and relaxing. In fact, you don't even have to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given life. It uh, yeah. throws vegetables at them. How many people would you kill for Yao Yao <laughs> is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I think this game is really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for all the funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer, I lied to you. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel minigame. It is participating in temporary event content, which I can only oh, yeah. punishment for developers who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you disguise yourselves as various household items to escape the wrath of very stupid people. Oh god, I think he's got a whiff. Wow, guys, this is just like Genshin Impact. Yeah, but I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? Oh! It's time that I show off my winning strategies fellas i've got a good feeling about this one all we've got to do is uh yep next you gotta you gotta do this he will never find me this way D does he know oh my god he doesn't know wait a second no all right fellas i got a plan for this map we're just gonna stand here he has no clue i i can't w why is it working like this i'm sorry guys looking up is really hard i am torturing this man you could say that he's uh that he's among us we also have event oh my god i haven't played that oh yeah this is impossible the Pokemon tournament arc. I, what is happening? I love this one. Does that man have a fucking gun? The yes. Beetle cockfighting. I've always wanted yes. to Yes. This is my favorite my one. Favorite. Chinese New Year. Because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. What the fuck? <laughs> you know who's <laughs> you got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. That map was released. <laughs> it fucking escaped. <laughs> oh. No, what yeah, the what fuck? Buddy, you're, you're fucking, you're rolling the too much. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that? Sumeru is an autocratic Orwellian surveillance state with a little hint of apartheid, governed by the worst organization imaginable. University. What? How did they then? What? The land of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their own unique ways to kill you. The forest is a terrifying safari hellscape where each animal is yeah. not able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers, cows, crocodiles, <laughs> robot dinosaur, and fu fungus dinosaur. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And <laughs> my favorite animal type, poor people. But poor most people. importantly, the forest is where the white people live, and they're filling the library with video essays. This is the Academia, who controls Subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet. Raiden, the Academia doesn't want you to know this, but you can steal ducks from the public park. Th they're free, Raiden. The desert is a desert <laughs> wasteland, once home to a thriving civilization. Before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them. Does does anyone else think this is weird? We've got scorpions. We've got scorpions. Welcome to Jurassic Hell. We've got the What? Never mind. So yeah. So you know, like a Okay. And we've got worm demons. But my personal favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck off laser. There are oh, yeah. even more enemies, but most of them are just liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas it's working. But hey, the desert isn't all that bad, <laughs> as long as you ignore the racist genie quest. Motherfucker graduated from casual to competitive racism. Alright, later, Max. What? Wait. What I the fuck? The, no, you can't do this to me. Look, the point is, Subaru is massive, and it's not even done. 
and also leeway isn't done and also Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Sumeru does have is an actually good story. Yeah. Out of all the things I expected, Harvard building an Evangelion was not one of them. What the fuck? Tell me what to do anymore, Mom. I'm finally inside of another man. What? <laughs> I am the all-knowing God. Jesus what the Christ fuck? Really made this boss fight. Game, by the way. So when you're exploring deep in the woods at 4 a.m., finding a somebody is pointing for me, but okay. Musical happens here. Fighting more minorities. I'm trying to be a police officer, or doing the eight-hour gnome people quest. That is a that is a lot of side quests. There will what the fuck? be a new surprise in Sumeru, and if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because you know, I wasn't doing that already. Oh my god. I love this in magic, so everything. What the fuck? Saito? Saito, where are you going? <laughs> Saito! Not right now. Okay. You know what, guys? Before I go, I want to give you all a fun tip that most Genshin players oh. don't know. The age of consent is 18 years old. <laughs> what? Okay, 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 okay. What the fuck is that video? Okay, okay, okay. First thing to say, Hatsune Miku. Second thing to say, <clears throat> he's spilling truths, to be honest. He's spilling the tree with truths, and I don't know how I cannot say this. He's spilling truths, and I am not hungry about it. I actually trying to process this. No joke, I am actually trying to process this. It's really good. The edits are fucking amazing. Like, oh my god. Bye. Oh my god. <gasps> uh, 25 minute video. Oh my god. I mean, thanks everyone for commenting and everything. <laughs> I am dying on the inside. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. I want to see more Maxim videos later. Oh my god. I'm going to subscribe to this guy. Oh my god. I have never learned, learned about this guy. So thanks everyone for coming. Oh, like and subscribe, please, and everything like that. Take care. Bye. Adiosito.